Here is my remake of my STL tutorial series. Uh, I'd like to note that I'm going to keep the old ones up just for reference and uh, just in case I miss anything in these ones that was covered in the other. So uh, I'll have two separate ones. In this series I hope to show a better styled code and uh, make the whole learning experience better. So I'm not going to show you how to install SDL in this. I'm quite sure I showed you how my last attempt at making SDL tutorials so just go back and look at those. Um, if not I'd rather you come to lazyfood.net or stltutorials.com okay so if you go to lazyfood.net you'll you should go to this screen click on tutorials scroll down click on setting up SDL if you scroll down you can select your operating system Windows Linux or Mac and uh, after you click your operating system they have a number of different IDEs you can choose from so just to kinda go through and show you what they have and finally for Mac so they have a lot of uh, different IDEs you can choose from and it shows you exactly how to set it up um, LazyFoo also has a lot of other tutorials which are which will be useful so I recommend you check them out as long as articles that are also useful and these are all things I've used to learn what I know. Um, the other reference I suggest you use is SEOTutorials.com. So if you come to SEOTutorials.com, down on the side you'll see SEO Tutorials right here, and here's all the SEO Tutorials that are up. Uh, if you click on SEO Tutorial Basics, the first, all that is setting up SDL. So now you uh, should be able to get SDL all set up and also you can go back and check my first SDL tutorial video that I made so long ago and you can see how to set it up but I recommend you come to lazyfood.net or SDLtutorials.com instead of watching my old video alright so now we'll jump into what we're going to talk about in this uh, first tutorial